The mid-axial technique for injecting trigger fingers was first described by Carlson and Curtis in 1984, and then described in more detail in a small randomised controlled trial in 2007, when it was found to be equally effective but less painful compared to the standard direct A1 pulley injection. The mid-axial injection is a technique for accessing the flexor tendon sheath distal to the A1 pulley in a less tender area and allowing the injectate to flow along the tendon sheath. Have the patient's hand in a neutral position, finger slightly flexed. First, sterilise the finger. The needle access point is found by dividing the finger into half along the proximal phalanx. The injection point is just on the palmer side of the midpoint of this line. If we fill in the position of the phalanges and the flexor tendon, then draw in our imaginary midline and needle point, we can see that the needle tip should enter the flexor tendon if we angle it along the midline towards the base of the finger. First perform a safety aspiration, then press the plunger. If the needle tip is embedded in the tendon, then the injection won't flow. So slowly withdraw the needle while still keeping pressure on the plunger. As the needle tip slips into the tendon sheath, the injection will flow freely and you will often feel the tendon sheath expanding along their finger with your supporting finger underneath. And that's the mid-axial technique for injecting trigger finger.